and welcome back to the cinema again, The Flash. Oh my god, we're doing like three days in a row. I hope. Flash, episode 11 this time. Oh, you feeling pumped? I'm feeling pumped. Let's go, The Flash. So fast. Ooh. So yes, today's episode 11 and we're dealing with an episode I thought was like around the end of the season. Like 18, 17, 16, like five episodes away. We're dealing with... The guy's name that was said like 15 times and I can't remember. Hartley! I think this is a cooler villain, one that's more calculated and less I'm evil and going to destroy you. Why am I starting with the villain? Do I have any sort of cohesiveness when I review these? No! It is just me blabbing about everything I just seen in the past 40 to 45 minutes of my life. So, full spoilers obviously, because I just spoiled the villain and everything that happens there. Uh, particle accelerator explodes. <laughs> particle accelerator explodes again. <laughs> Just because, you know, after you see it explode, like 10 seconds later, they need to remind you that it exploded again. I don't know how high the counter is, because again, I'm reviewing a lot of these and filming a lot of these in bulk, so it should be a big number. How much of my life and your life has been wasted watching the particle accelerator explode? It's as bad as me thinking about how many hours of my life I've wasted re-watching Spider-Man 2 over and over and over until the disc rots to pieces and then again and again and again until that disc rots and then you skip getting a Blu-ray entirely to pick up the 4K and you just will watch that over and over and over and until that inevitably just shits itself. I like Spider-Man. The episode opens with the Flash taking down some bikes with Harrison Wells telling him over the intercom how to do it. That's all really cool and well. I like it. We're getting a lot of action-y stuff it's less I don't know that stuff's cool and I'm glad it's there otherwise it would feel so sitcommy with the sets and buildings and places that they're at the same time all of the time those action sequences really help break it up so Hartley was Wells's number two and Hartley's like yo fuck you coming to your house to shatter your shit with my sonic wave shit bruh see I'm hip with the kids I'm still technically the kids. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Bro, I went out of style like fucking years ago. We were on like poggers and based. Whatever the fuck based means, I'm still figuring it out. Fuck man, I'm like the boomer of my generation. I, I'm old school man. Discs and shit instead of streaming. What's wrong with me? No, we love physical media, okay? You and me, you understand. Anyway, Hartley goes to Wells' house and he's got these gloves that can send frequencies. Like, you know, if you get a frequency that can match the pitch of like glass. You can shatter a glass. He's basically built that stuff, shatters his house, we get to see his house, it's looking pretty baller. There's some dirt that Hartley has on Wells in this episode, which he threatens to kind of reveal, but Wells builds into it and says, yes, I did know about the risk of the particle accelerator exploding, but I went ahead with it anyway because, you know, the outcomes. Motherfucker full well knew he was making that shit explode. We'll get there eventually, but a lot of particle accelerator, particle accelerator. We're in episode 11, we should talk about the particle accelerator. And after he admits he's late to the team, and obviously, you know, Caitlin's gonna be upset because, like, you killed my fucking husband, motherfucker, you knew. Were they married? No, I think they were gonna get married. Fuck! I'm talking about this shit, I should be an expert here, but I'm, I'm really not. I just love this show and I feel like there's a lot of effort put into individual episodes. The least I can do is give each episode just a little bit of my time. So yes, the team is obviously upset and you've upset the trust with Barry Allen. You wait Barry, okay? You wait Bobblehead Barry that does this all the time, and this all the time. Watch The Flash and watch him just do this all the time, and this all the time. And I have to stop him. I'm not fast enough. After that lie is revealed, Wells goes and publicly announces to the world that yes, I kind of knew that shit might have gone down, but I went ahead with it anyway because, you know, science and shit. And really, all was well and fine. People already hated Wells, so it wasn't going to change anything. Meanwhile, Detective West on the case, man, he is in. He is searching and hunting everything to do with Harrison Wells. And what the fuck? Because he's shady as shit. And these little mysteries that or clues that they unravel in the next coming episodes. I'm not sure how far away they are. I know Cisco jumps in on the bandwagon as well. Get really, really juicy and they're investing. I really enjoy that. But that's not this episode. I'm ugh, tangents, man. I got a I got a problem. Also, another subplot completely forgot about. Iris is now a journalist, which was mentioned in a previous episode that I completely forgot because now it's prevalent here. I've got to start remembering this shit. It doesn't matter, you're getting the full picture if you watch these videos one after another. So Iris has now become a journalist and she realizes they only hired her because she might have some connection with the Flash and she can 
get information on it. So there's a certain journalist that's assigned to basically bail the iris through all this stuff and he just kind of not giving a shit, man. This guy is like an unsung hero of the show. Iris is all, hey, you know, I know I was signed up for this just because I have connections with The Flash, but I have, and he's like, what? Gumption? Grit? The fuck you got, bitch? You sound like you're in a rom-com, motherfucker. Turns around and pieces out. That shit was fucking hilarious. I loved it. Otherwise, now we're seeing a lot more of Harrison Wells as the reverse Flash. Not in the yellow costume, but speeding around and avoiding things. He's no longer in his special little chair. Development. Zipping away left and right, but it looks like his speed he is losing because he's losing his speed. I can't remember exactly why. Is it because he's in a different timeline or he's not where he's supposed to be, that's why he's losing his speed. Is his speed completely fake again, or did he recreate the particle accelerator shit in his own way to get his own powers? I can't fucking remember, but the show will explain it for me. All I remember is that he needs Barry to get back to the future, which we will get back to the future. Get it, he said the thing! So yeah, we get a bit more of that, and the villain here, pretty good, I, I, like, I like Hartley. Mostly because he's not one dimensional, there's a little bit more to him, and we're gonna get a little bit more, because he reveals at the end, in the twist, that he knows where Ronnie is, what really happened to Ronnie, and he can help, so Cisco is gonna release him. Supposedly, we will see. I'm pretty sure that Harrison Wells ends up axing this guy off at some point. Hartley, I mean, I mean, the one with Cisco. Oh, let's not get there. Not yet, we are not there. But that was pretty much episode 11. Another good one, not as good as 10 or 9, I would say, but it is a good one. It stands out to me more than like 8 or. The one where he has to fight his bully with a super punch. The super punch is cool, but the villain is just eh. But yes, it was another good episode. If this is something you like seeing me here in your subscription feed, or just out in the world of YouTube, where everything's either white or in black dark mode, because, you know, you're a chad. If that's something you like seeing, you can consider subscribing and see a bit more of my beautiful face more often. Also, consider dropping a like on the video. It tells me that you want to see more of these videos or more of the other videos if you want to like those ones and then I know what the hell you want to hear me ramble on about for 5 to 15 minutes. If you've made it all the way through to the end of the video, you're a bloody legend and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.